Members of the embattled City County Council are working to right the ship tonight after more chaos this week. They slapped the current council president with a lawsuit and now they plan to oust him from office. Our Anna Carrera explains how they're now looking forward to move on from there. The City County Council members we talked with say they're just ready for all of this drama to be done so they can get back to work. They say they don't trust current president Stephen Clay, so they're doing something about it. That started with Democrats voting Clay out of their caucus this week, including four people who voted for Clay as president and have changed their minds. Then they filed a lawsuit to reinstate the council clerk and attorney who Clay fired last week. Clay told reporters they wrongfully destroyed city records and received raises, but we found out those accusations were not true. Council Vice President Democrat Zach Adamson cast a vote for previous Council President Maggie Lewis last month when she ran against Clay. He says getting rid of the clerk and attorney is making a major impact. And a larger issue is really the games that have been played have really put the city at, at, a, at a great risk um, with the playing around with our committee chairs, uh, uh, the public safety implications, uh, work not being done. Clay has been tough to track down since the backlash started. We also didn't see him at a Democratic slating event on Saturday morning. Adamson says he hopes things go back to normal after they pick a new president. It will be uh, difficult, I believe, at first. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, he will be able to find a way to put the city first again, and I think as long as he does that, we'll be able to work together. The council could oust Clay during a vote that's set for a week from Monday on the 19th. Council members on both sides of the aisle say they're looking for new presidential options, but we haven't heard any specifics on who that could be. Today, Adamson told us he expects to see more unity among the Democrats in this upcoming vote instead of splitting it like they did last week between Lewis and Clay. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.